Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a few more BMAT section 2 questions in this video. I'm going to continue with the 2016 paper. I believe a lot of you in the last video commented that you, you had a few harder questions later on in that paper and so we'll go through them. Um, yes, yeah, so as always, if you want more videos like this, do comment. Uh, I'm releasing a few more videos later today for the 2018 section 2 paper, but also a section 1 paper to really show you guys how I'm working through this, but also to give you guys a bit of a break. Whilst you're revising, you can just watch me do some BMAT questions. Just consider it another form of revision. Right, anyway, let's quickly uh, just crack on. Right, let's get going. So, which of the following statements could describe the result of a single mutation of a gene coding for a protease? enzyme in a fertilized human egg cell. The new allele is formed coding for a protease enzyme uh, that works more efficiently. That could be right, because it could be an advantageous mutation. Um, yes, that could be right, because it could be less efficient, it could be deleterious. Um, yep, to be fair, sometimes the protein, um, the protease enzyme may completely be disrupted and you have a non-functional protein. Um, actually, all four of them are correct. The answer is G, I think, for 17. Okay, let's do question 18. There's some chemistry. What volume over 10? No, not one. One more solution. Any OH needs to neutralize uh, 30 centimeters cube of a diprotic acid. Fantastic. So let's quickly write a formula out here. Um, NaOH plus, let's say, H2SO4, that's a diprotic acid, goes to uh, Na. 2SO4 plus H2O. So let's quickly balance this. I've got Na2SO4, therefore I need to put a 2 in front of that. If I have a 2 in front of that, there's 1 there. Then I've got how many hydrogens? There are 4 hydrogens. So therefore I need to have a 2 in front of that. That should be everything balanced. Yes, everything is balanced indeed. So um, we've got volume equals 0 0.1. Um, no, no, no. That's wrong. The concentration is 0 0.1. So concentration equals 0 0.1. Um, concentration of acid is 0 0.2. The volume is 30 centimeters cubed. So the formula, because the volume is in 30 centimeters cubed, the formula is N equals VC over 1,000. So first, quickly, let's um, uh, let's work out N. So N equals volume, 30 times 0 0.2 over 1,000 equals... The timesing by 0 0.2 is like dividing by 5, so it would be 6 over 1,000 equals 6 times 10 to the power minus 3. Now, um, no, I notice I've got um, 1 here, 2 there. So you need to multiply the number of moles by 2. Therefore, that's 12 times 10 to the power minus 3, which is equal to 1.2 times 10 to the power minus 2 um, moles of, um, of NOH. So then I do um, N equals VC times 1,000 again. With rearrange it because I'm trying to work out the volume. So V equals 1,000. N over C, which is equal to 1,000 times this number, 1.2 times 10 to the power minus 2 over the concentration, 0 0.1. So this is therefore equal to, well, um, that's 12 over 0 0.1 is 120, because dividing by 0 0.1 is like times 1 by 10, so the answer should be E. The answer is E indeed. Fantastic. Let's move on to question 20. So uh, rearrange the formula this to make F the subject right. So let's just clean this up. So um, let's move everything over. Um, and get f on one side, so a over b minus c over d is equal to e over f. Let's put this over a common denominator, so b d, so a d minus c b equals e over f. Then what I can do is I can just flip it around, so f over e is equal to b d over a d minus c b. Now to get f, I just need to multiply both sides by e, so f equals e b d over a d minus c b that's the answer so it should be um f equals b d e over a d minus b c it's the answer c 20 years c indeed good work which describes the role of mitosis mitosis is a replication of cells so asexual reproduction uh, more meiosis is sexual reproduction that, that technically is right because mitosis is you're replicating cells the cloning cells uh, the growth of a cell we're not really not in mitosis, that happens outside of mitosis. Repair of cells, no. Stem cell division, yes, so 1 and 4. The answer is A. 21 is A. Um, yep, 21 is A indeed. Fantastic. But it's a crime scene. There's one criminal. Persons can have a okay, type A, type B, 
A B or A B and then nothing. Okay, so what we need to do is it's got B, so we've got B. This is asking for both types. So it's got to be the probability to have antigen A given that I have antigen B, because I've already got antigen is given. The probability for me is probability of A and B over the probability of B. So probability of A and B is this. So it's 0 0.03. The probability of B is, well, this is 0 0.03 plus this. 0.09, which is equal to 0 0.03 over 0 0.12. Gosh, this is hard. Which is equal to 3 over 12, which is 1 over 4. That should be D. Because it's a conditional probability in that. This should be the right formula. Yeah, it is D indeed. Fantastic. <laughs> wow, okay, I'm surprised. Um, okay, let's do question 25 and then we'll call it a day. So, an experiment, carry out gene code, three crosses. Fantastic. Um, what is a possible. Okay, fantastic. Maximum possible number of heterozygous mice. So heterozygous mice. Um, we could say that that's recessive, and that's because because if it's going to be heterozygous, we need to have as much um, crossing. So technically, all of these could be um, R R R R R R the family. Um, so one, two, three, four. No, these can't be heterozygous. Um, well, technically, you could have R small r, given that it's dominant, and that's R small r as well. Um, that's heterozygous. All of these could be heterozygous. So it could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think it's twelve. H. Yeah. It's interesting for the maximum possible number, not for the likely number. If it's a likely number, then we can go by Punnett squares. Whereas although this is big R, small r, even if you have a cross of R, R, big R, small r, we can still have R, 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 like big, two big R's here, big R, small r. That means that's still a possibility for heterozygosity. So, you know, these could be heterozygous to find the maximum number of heterozygous ones. Um, they didn't have to be uh, homozygous, you know, dominant. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah, 12. The answer is H. Yeah. It is H indeed. Fantastic. Uh, let's do one more, actually. Um, let's do this. Light travels through glass at the speed two-thirds of water through air. Water, okay. A ray of light has wavelength of 360 newton meters when it's traveling through water. What is the wavelength of this ray of light when it's traveling through glass? So C equals F lambda. Um, so the frequency of the light won't change because the co color of like light does not change as it goes through you know glass. So it'll be three sixty and it's going through it's going through water at speed which is three over four. Um so three hundred and sixty newton meters is equal to three out of four. Therefore 480 newton meters is equal to the wavelength when it's in um, air. So in glass, it's two thirds of 480. So two thirds times 480 is equal to 960 over 3, which should equal 320. The answer is C. 27 is C indeed. So what this is saying is the trick here is you work out um, the wavelength in the water, then work out from this value what it's in air which is um, 300 and, oh, 480, and then you know that in glass, it's two-thirds of what it's in air, which is that. So then we can work out this fraction, um, which then gives me uh, 960 over 3, which is equal to 320, which is which is C. Um, right, hopefully that was kind of useful. Um, if you did find it useful, do let me know, and I'll make a few more videos. Um, for some other sections later on. Right here, as always, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.